Very popular on WJCL.com. A former jail escapee makes another run for it, but this time Chad Dasher's mad dash is cut short. You may remember WJCL reported on Dasher's escape from the Tattano County Jail in January. He was caught in mid-April. Yeah, well, then he was moved to the Aplin County Detention Center, and guess what? Last Wednesday, he escaped again. WJCL's Brandon Lavornia talked with the sheriff and some of the neighbors today. Brandon, what happened this time? Guys, talk about a throwback Thursday. How crazy is this? This is the second time in a year Dasher has busted out from behind bars. This time, though, it was short-lived escape for Dasher. The Appling County Detention Center is home to dozens of inmates. One in particular stood out to Sheriff Benny DeLoach. Who would think a, a local boy would, you know, try to go all that far? Chad Dasher is known for his Houdini-like escapes. You may remember from January to April, Chad Dasher made a mad dash across several states, evading investigators until he was finally arrested in Tattnall County. Well, we had him in isolation uh, cell by himself because when we got him from Tattano, he had uh, indicated suicidal tendencies. Since his arrival, Sheriff DeLoach says Dasher has been courteous to jailers. Wednesday, November 5th, Dasher asked one female jailer for a Bible. Trying to be a good person, she had the Bible, she unlocked the door to give him the Bible, and he overpowered her. She broke protocol, and Dasher broke her arm. Now, Dasher's escape didn't last very long this time. He only made it about 30 minutes and about a tenth of a mile away from the detention center. He cut his Achilles on the barbed wire fence that surrounds it. He wasn't in too good running condition. Caitlin Sapp works right around the corner from the detention center. She was relieved deputies acted quickly in catching Dasher. That's very scary because, like I said, we're right down the road from him and we have things that they could want so they could come in at any time and take us. And we just have to be on our toes at all times. The jailer is currently on leave as she recovers from her injuries. Dasher is being treated for his injuries. He will be placed back into isolation, this time on closer watch. It's going to be the same protocol except like if he makes a request. It'd be a little different. Now, Sheriff DeLoach says Dasher may have more than doubled his sentence he was serving in Appling County with this escape attempt. In the studio, I'm Brandon Lavornia for WJCL News, working for you. All right, thanks, Brandon.